Guys, I thought we were going to rally in July, and we probably are, but the big albatross has come. That's right, we got confirmation that the evil people at MT Gox, you know, that big exchange that over a decade ago got hacked. And they're going to start returning in July. Failed cryptocurrency exchange MT Gox is trying to repay its customers more than a decade. And Bitcoin investors are very, very nervous, including me. Well, not really me, because even if it dumps, that's just time for me to buy some cheap coins. So hold on to your hats, guys. Gox will begin returning assets to customers in July 2024. I think they've already had some advanced stuff, uh, but this is the big wave. The number of Bitcoins headed towards former customers, and this is the number, is still not certain, and it could range from anywhere from 65K to 140K. That's 65K to 140K Bitcoins, not dollars. And that's big because even at the low end, 65K is more than the entire nation of Germany has. And at the upper end, it could be worth $9 billion. However, it will come in waves, so it won't sell out at once. And they are returning in kind and not cash. So they aren't actually selling the Bitcoins. It will be up to the people that get the money back to sell the Bitcoins or not. Now, I'm not really sure how much of those Bitcoins will be sold, but I think some will actually be sold. And it should actually continue until November 2024. So we might not actually get any real upward movement until the end of the year. Some Bitcoin holders are worried the distribution could lead to an increase in selling pressure. I think there will be some increase in selling pressure because remember, this is from 10 years ago. And you know how much Bitcoin price um, has increased in 10 years. 10 years ago when MT8 Gox crashed, Bitcoin was at $100. It is now at $60,000. That is a 60, uh, I mean, 600x increase. And of course, you know, if I had a 600x increase in anything, I would be taking them profits. So anywhere from 65 to 140K, I'm hoping, you know, I'm not an MT Gox customer. I was not in Bitcoin in 2013. So I'm hoping it's in the 65K area. The sudden supply hitting the markets has Bitcoin investors worried about lower prices. And of course, I think that's also one of the reasons that people got scared off and they're selling now. Now, it might be one of those buy the rumor, like uh, sell the rumor, buy the news type of things when July finally hits. And I'm hoping it is, but there could definitely be real downward pressure from this. I'm still hoping for a bounce back in July, but this definitely might uh, put a, heck, a hex in things. And remember MT Gox, uh, which once accounted for roughly 70%, a killer 70% of the world's Bitcoin trading was hacked multiple times between 2011 and 2014, and thousands of Bitcoins went missing, set off a setting off a long process of customers trying to get their crypto or money back. The exchange declared bankruptcy in 2014. In addition to Bitcoin, former customers will also receive Bitcoin Cash as the alternative cryptocurrency was launched as a hard fork of Bitcoin in 2017. Of course, like I said, this definitely could be a black swan event and it could be so, it could be very, very bad, bigger than the other ones because this is true downward pressure. This could be akin to Genesis or possibly uh, FTX, maybe worse. But remember, unlike those, it's not all at once. It will actually come in waves. So it also could be quite a bit better. But this is not a good event because there's no way this puts like upward buying pressure. It's all downward selling pressure. So if you see us go down when this distribution starts, you'll know why. But right now, I think the fear of this distribution has stricken in the hearts of many. And that's why they're selling down right now. Remember, July is only a week away. So people are like, hey, these guys, they might get like a couple thousand Bitcoins. They might be dumping them for profits because, you know, this thing is like they were forced to hold for 10 years. And if you're forced to hold for 10 years, your um, crypto went up like what? 600 X, you're probably itching to sell some. Now I'm not saying they'll sell all because I think there are probably some true believers in there. And a lot of the oldies, OGs are probably true believers because this was before Bitcoin really went any what mainstream and was worth anything. So some of these might be holding for Bitcoin as future money, 
but I'm guessing that some of them will sell. And even like 10% of sales, you know, 14,000 Bitcoin or 6,500 Bitcoin, that could influence your price a little bit. So there's a way we definitely can dump a little bit lower because of this. I do think today's drop was probably on this news um, that they're going to uh, basically start selling. This news basically came out um, early yesterday, and that's really when we started dropping from that 64, 65K range. So definitely not looking forward to this. But like I said, hopefully it's one of those sell the rumor, buy the news events, although it could be somewhat unlikely, depending on what proportion of these people actually decide to sell Bitcoin. Hopefully it's not a big proportion, but you know, back then Bitcoin was not worth very much. So some of these people might want to buy their own Lambos with this money. So it could be quite a bit of Bitcoin sales. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.